Good morning. We're here at Bosque del Apache on a beautiful, brisk morning, 14 degrees. And thank God we have no wind. Uh, it's pre-dawn and we're hoping to get some nice big blast offs of snow geese, maybe a few cranes going by. I've taken the time to make sure that my tripod platform is relatively level. It's not important that it be perfectly level with the bubble centered in the circle, but you don't want to have your tripod set up cockeyed for a bunch of reasons. It makes it difficult when you're panning and also you're more likely to knock your own rig over if you're turning around. I have some of my best friends with me, the Canon 200 to 400 millimeter F4 image stabilized lens with the internal 1.4 teleconverter. I have a 70 to 200 with a 1DX, a 1DX with the big zoom, and then an EOS 5D Mark III with the 24 to 70 in case we get a real uh, sky full of birds. There's potential here. You never know what the birds are going to do from one morning to the next. The technique that I use and teach is in these blur situations. We want to be working at a slow shutter speed. It's always safe to be at a 15th of a second. At times you can experiment and go as slow as a quarter or an eighth. If the birds are really close and you're photographing single birds, you'd want to be from a 30th to a 60th of a second. Now there are lots of folks who say, oh boy, if you're a real photographer, you only work in manual mode. But working in TV mode in these pre-dawn situations lets you work faster and more efficiently. Make sure you're in either ISO safety shift or auto ISO. Most of the newer cameras have ISO safety shift. That's what I prefer. You set a low ISO. You put your compensation in here. I'm at plus one on all three cameras. And I have shutter button autofocus on each camera. And now all we need is a few birds. Well, these are the lenses that I use. There's lots of lenses that will work for you here at Bosque del Apache, and not all of them cost 10,000 bucks. Uh, the 100 to 400 is superb here, and Canon just introduced the, uh, the 100 to 400 version 2. The 70 to 200, the smaller 70 to 200, the F4, is superb here with or without a teleconverter. You can go to the 7D Mark II to add some reach uh, with any of those lenses. 300 millimeter F4 LIS, 400 F5.6. Sometimes you might want to put that on a tripod in the real low light. 70 to 300 LIS, a white lens, another superb lens. Canon just offers an amazing array of lenses for bird photography, whether you're traveling around the world or photographing in your own backyard. And there's a huge blast off behind us and I've brought my compensation down to plus a third because I have a lot more of the mountain ridge. Quick look at the histogram is fine. And it's pretty exhilarating when they go. We would have preferred it to be earlier, but it is what it is. And we got some good stuff. And we went over the principles of shutter priority with compensation and auto ISO. And whenever you're in a situation with lots of birds and you want to create blurs, that's the way to go. When I'm working in conditions where it's bright sun and there's a chance for a big blast off, whether I'm at the beach and I'm working with terns or in New Mexico working with geese, I'm going to often add a three-stop ND filter to the front of the lens. I use Singray, really high quality, and that will get me three stops slower shutter speed. So even on a sunny day, I can put the three stop neutral density filter on and at ISO 50, get down to something like an eighth of a second to create a beautifully blurred image. When you're photographing silhouette, you wanna have the sun right behind the subject and then you. But it still amazes me that those people are over there and they're not seeing fire in the mist because they don't have the mist in front of the sun. There's nothing as exciting as being out in the pre-dawn or the late, late afternoon and enjoying the richly colored skies of a brilliant sunrise or sunset. And those opportunities give us great chances to create 
silhouette images, birds appearing as black against beautiful black chops of red, orange, purple, yellow, uh, just incredible situations.